powerful, specialised and ultimately doomed. This is the story of the British Rail Class 71, a third rail thoroughbred that shone briefly, struggled quietly and today survives in just one solitary example. Our journey begins with the 1955 modernisation plan when British Railways set out to drag the network into the electric age. For the southern region, that meant expanding the 750-volt DC third rail system deep into Kent. The answer was the Class 71. Built at Doncaster Works between 1958 and 1960, 24 of these Bobo locomotives rolled out, originally numbered E5000 to E5023, with a 2,500 horsepower, a top speed of 90 miles per hour, and more than 43,000 pounds of tractive effort. Perfect for fast passenger work and heavy freight. In service, the Class 71s hauled boat trains to the channel ports, fast passenger expresses, and heavy freight across the southern region. But for all their strengths, the Class 71 had a fatal weakness. If the third rail power was switched off for maintenance, the 71s were stranded. No power meant no movement. The Class 73 electro diesels, with their ability to run on third rail or on an onboard diesel engine, offered far greater flexibility. By 1976 and 1977, the remaining locomotives were withdrawn, many of them still mechanically sound, but with no suitable work left. Thirteen were scrapped, one had already been rebuilt, and that left just a single survivor, E5001. Today, standing in front of E5001, you're looking at more than a museum exhibit. You're looking at a glimpse into an alternative future, one where powerful electric locomotives could have ruled the southern rails.